there are some important activities that you can practice at home in preparation for your cardiac surgery at South Lake. Please take the time to review and practice these activities at home or in hospital prior to your surgery. Deep breathing. It is important to complete deep breathing and coughing exercises after surgery to help prevent complications such as pneumonia and areas of collapse of the lungs. To get a feeling of how to take a deep breath in, place a hand over your belly or hands over the sides of your ribs. Relax your shoulders. You should be able to feel your belly or ribs fill out under your hand as you take a deep breath in. It may be helpful to think of your belly as a balloon. When you inhale, you are inflating the balloon so that the belly is coming out. When you exhale, you are deflating the balloon. Try to not elevate or shrug your shoulders as you take a deep breath in. After your surgery, you should be performing 5 to 10 repetitions of deep breathing every hour that you are awake. Coughing. After completing 5 to 10 deep breaths, you will need to try to cough. This may be painful, but is a safe and important action. Hold your heart pillow against your chest, which should help decrease the pain. Take a deep breath in and cough from your belly. Clearing your throat is not sufficient. Spit out any mucus that you are able to bring up. Coughing will help to clear your lungs of mucus, which may prevent pneumonia. Sternal precautions. After your surgery, your breastbone will be safely closed by your surgeon. While this bone heals, you will need to protect it from excess force. This means that you will not be able to use your arms to push or pull yourself in and out of bed or a chair. How to get out of bed. Put both hands on your chest on top of your heart pillow. Walk your legs over toward the side of the bed Bend your knees up so your feet are on the bed. Push with your heels and roll onto your side. Drop your feet off the side of the bed while you push up with your bottom elbow. How to get into bed. To get into bed, hug your pillow with your arms crossed across your chest. Stand with the back of your legs against the bed. This should be slightly closer to the head of the bed. Bend forward and sit on the side of the bed. Lie onto your side as you allow your shoulder and head to rest on the bed and pillow. Do not hold yourself up with your elbow. As you lie onto your side, lift your leg sideways onto the bed. Roll onto your back and lift the other leg onto the bed. How to stand. Though standing up may seem like a simple idea, it can be difficult without using your arms. The following steps will help make this task easier. First, move your bottom closer to the edge of the surface you are sitting on. Move your feet so that your ankles are behind your knees. It helps to hold your heart pillow to prevent you from using your arms. Bow forward until your nose is past your toes. Push up through your feet and straighten through your knees and hips. Be sure not to sit on surfaces that are too low or too soft, as it will make standing up from them more difficult. Post-op exercises. It is important to maintain and improve your mobility while recovering from cardiac surgery. The following exercises are outlined in your patient education booklet. It is a good idea to practice these prior to your surgery. After surgery, these exercises should be performed twice a day while you are sitting in a chair. We recommend performing five to 10 repetitions of each exercise. After surgery, it is easy to let your shoulders roll forward. However, it is important to maintain good posture for your breathing and balance. Stand against a wall with your heels 
backside and shoulders against the wall. Try to stand as tall as comfortably possible. Relax and breathe in this position for 20 seconds. Thank you for watching our videos. We look forward to working with you during your cardiac surgery experience at Southlake.